Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Hope you've all had a, a lovely day today. The weather's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, and as you can see, I've caught a little bit of the sun, a little bit pink in the face, shall we say. Anyway, we're here to talk about a beer. Now this is a beer that I picked up today. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure how much it was, but I've got a feeling I was maybe undercharged, I don't know. Uh, and what we are looking at is a beer from Wales, uh, from Tenby to be precise, and it's from Tenby Brewing Co. And this is their eighth birthday double IPA. It's in a 440 mil can and it's coming in at a whopping 8.8% ABV. Now, like I said, I don't know how much it was because the wife went to go and get fuel. She filled the car up. Uh, she bought a bar of chocolate and I bought this. Now it comes to £74.50. Now filling the car up was just short of 70 quid. And I mean pence short of 70 quid. And then she bought this Galaxy Crunch Bar, which I'm guessing would be about £1.50. So <laughs> it works out to me in my head, this is coming at about three quid, which is something a little bit odd for a double IPA. You tend to be looking five to six quid for a double IPA. So uh so yeah, it could turn out to be a right bargain. They might if they've made a balls up. Whoops. Uh, and incidentally, I picked this up from a St. Martin service station, the Texaco garage. Uh, so I bought quite a few beers from there as well uh, in the past. So yeah, that's where I got it from. That's how much I think it cost. And we are going to get it cracked open and see what it's like. So it's going in the All The Beer No Idea glass. Tenby do some good stuff. Hopefully this is going to be a banger because it is a style that is a favourite of mine. I do love a dipper. And hopefully this is going to be another good one. Yeah, so I was out in the garden and sort of, I've weeded, I've cut the grass, I've strimmed, I've sorted all the patio out, swept up, all the winter stuff if you like. We've uncovered the chairs, sitting outside. She, I've been on the beer, she's been on the champers, we had a nice steak meal and all that lot. So uh, yeah, it's been a lovely day. So I thought I'd come in and do a beer with you. I was going to do it outside, but fuck it. Anyway, you're not interested in that, I'm waffling in between just what I'm supposed to be doing. So beer in a glass, there we go. A lovely, well it is sort of chicken stock again if you like. Uh, deep orange sort of colour, well not deep orange really, it's just a lovely bright sort of sunflower, orangey sort of colour. Uh, finger of white head, looks good. I'm, I'm not seeing many bubbles go up. I'm sure there probably is, but it looks pretty decent. So let's dive in on the nose and see what we get. I'll maybe give you some info off the can after. Yeah, hoppy, juicy, fruity. It smells tropical. Uh, it doesn't smell like the biggest, boldest double IP I've had. But it certainly don't smell bad. And swilling it around like that, it looks like it's going to have a decent body. Yeah, smells all right. So let's dive in. Tenby Brewing Co's 8th birthday, double IPA, 8.8%. And I think maybe three quid I got charged for it. So, cheers. Oh, that's good. That's good. There was a little flavour in there. Or a bitterness in there. There isn't 100% to my taste, but that could just, that's personal taste, isn't it? But let's crack on. Nice body, almost chewy, almost chewy. It's quite well carbonated, but small bubbles, but it doesn't sort of go wild in your mouth. There's quite a bit of carbonation there, you feel it, but it doesn't sort of ruin anything. It's very smooth and it's very soft in the mouth, despite the carbonation. Uh, obviously having a decent body will help that. Taste wise for me, you get, for me you're greeted with a bitterness in there. You're greeted with that bitterness and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go along the lines of a sort of, I want to say grapefruit. That's probably about the nearest thing I'm going to say is a grapefruit sort of bitterness. It 
as your palette adjusts, you sort of get a little bit more juiciness and fruitiness at the front of it. It's like a juice bowl. There's no, I wouldn't say there's anything that particularly stands out individually with this. It's just like a, a fruit bowl. So yeah, again, like I say, starts out with the bitterness, more your palate adjusts, it's just big on juicy notes. The bitterness is just sort of lingering in there behind it or coming through just behind it. You do get a hoppy little bite to it. A little dank edge. Uh, like I said, the body is good. But it sort of drinks reasonably light. But I'm going to say that this, you know, if you drink it quite quick, it's going to catch up with you. The weight of it will catch up with you. Because I can feel it sort of catching up now. But it does drink quite light. Uh, very juicy, like I said. 8.8%. Pardon me. You wouldn't say it's 8.8%. But you definitely know it's it's quite hefty. Uh, there's no sort of alcohol, offensive alcohol taste or, or any burn or anything. But you do know it's bigger. Uh, and I would probably, if someone gave me this, I'd probably be thinking about the 7% mark. Uh, but it's, it's, it's hiding it pretty well. Uh, I will say now, a little bit of a warming feeling in my chest. So again, maybe the alcohol, once you've had a little bit more of it, and you sort of let it go down and you settle a little bit, you sort of feel a little bit of warmth in the chest. But otherwise, there's no sort of overpowering alcohol taste. But is it any good? It's not the best dipper I've had, if, if, if I'm honest. But that's not saying it's a bad one. It's a very decent one. Uh, so for me, Tenby Brewing Co's, Eighth birthday dipper coming in at eight point eight percent is a very decent beer and it's well worth trying. Is it worth the money? Well, for what I think I paid for it, for me it's well worth the money because, like I say, something like this you're looking. Well, I think the going rate for something like this now a dipper is about six quid. So if I have only paid about three quid for it, I've had a bargain, and. Uh, I probably should go up there and try and be lucky and see if I can get any more for about that price. But yeah, for me, Tempe Bruco's 8th birthday double IPA is well worth a go. So if you see it, give it a go. Like I say, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, St. Martin Service Station, uh, local to where I live, Oswald Street. Go in there. If, if you're someone local to, to where I live and you see this video, go in there, give it a try. Because if you get it for about three quid, it's a bloody bargain. But don't quote me on how much that should be. That could be an error. But if it is that price, it's well worth picking up. Right, stop waffling, Bass. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.